when you're doing this, do you feel like you are in some way communicating with these bees? Like, are you putting out energy is saying, like, I'm here to help, I'm your friend, I'm not a danger? Like, do you have a mindset? Or are you just in the moment completely? Like, how are you... I think it's a mutual communication. You know, I'm trying to read their behavior and they're probably trying to read mine as well to see if I'm a threat. But from the very first second that I meet the bees, I'm trying to figure out what they need and, you know, what their situation is like. And they're trying to read my behavior just like I'm trying to read theirs. It's no different than you reading, you know, your dog's behavior. They wag their tail. You know they're happy. They put their ears back. You know they're scared. The bees will send you signs and signals and communicate to you how they're feeling. You know, of course, they'll start stinging you if they're not feeling well and if they are feeling defensive. But, you know, they'll before that, they'll sort of ping you and there's a frequency pitch that changes sometimes, you know, in a hive that's maybe a little bit more defensive. So a frequency in terms of like the like sound the sound, thing? sure. Yeah. Um, and so it's, I think the communication goes back and forth, and I hope that they can pick up on my behavior as well. That I'm not there to harm them. I'm not ripping open their hive as quickly and as forcefully as possible, and I'm not, you know. I'm doing everything with a lot of care and precision, or as much as I can, and um, I hope that they pick up on that, too. I I certainly think that they do. So it's the movement, but is it also the mindset? Is it like a vibe that you're putting out? Are you, like, saying in your mind, I'm your friend, <laughs> I'm here to help out? Like, are you... I'm probably not saying it in my mind. I'm probably talking to them. Oh, so, really? Yes. You talk out loud to the bees? <laughs> yes, all the time. Really? Um it's just me and them, you know? I mean, and you're really working alongside them. And I I like to think that at some point dur during the removal process, they realize that I'm offering them something better. You know, after I've opened their hive and removed half the wall or what have you, it's they know that this new hive is where their food is, where their baby bees are, and it's just a better place for them. So I hope they know that I'm on their side. I certainly, you know, try to tell them that. Um, and yes, I talk to them. But I don't know. It's I mean, it's a it's just a wonderful experience, you know, and every bee removal is different. Well, at the very least, they seem to accept it. Yes, they do. I mean, they seem to not mind, you know, um, when I pick up their queen and move her into a new box, which you would think, you know, that would maybe would anger them. But, you know, the colony all works together and it's that super organism. So they. They, they all want to be together, and they're all doing what's best for the good of the colony. And so I sometimes think that if I'm doing that as well, then, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to do my job for sure. Now, as you've done this, have you become friends with other beekeepers? And do they have a similar mindset and similar experiences to the way you approach it? I have met some wonderful beekeepers and have some wonderful beekeeping friends, and everybody has their own way of keeping bees. Um, it's very much a craft, you know, it takes a lot of skill, of course. I, I think it's an art form, especially the bee removal process. There's, it takes a lot of creativity and everybody will do it in a different way. And everybody has their own opinions about their bees or what's best for their bees. And the beekeeping community can be, you know, divisive, but um, yeah, so. I, just because everybody has a different opinion on what the best way is to keep bees. And that probably stems from a lack of understanding that we all don't know all the answers to all the questions. You so know? what's like the major points of contention? Between the beekeeping, the beekeeping community, community. just yeah. different techniques for keeping bees. You know, some folks um, have different control methods for different pests and diseases. Some folks like to do it more naturally. There's just, there's a lot of different ways people keep bees all around the world. And I think everyone's doing it the best they can. But every everybody has a different idea, you know, on how to keep bees, but also everybody has a different reason for keeping bees. And so they might have different management techniques for that.